Big mouth, bigger lessons. The third season of Netflix's sex ed slash animated comedy Big Mouth continues its great lessons and storyline from its previous two seasons. This show's out-of-the-box comedy accompanied by wonderful lessons in sexuality, self-love, depression, and more not only make this show unique, but something truly iconic. My favorite aspect about this show is that it's able to teach you something while making it entertaining. It is such a great technique that, in fact, one of the show's characters uses it to teach another character something. I love that this show breaks down types of sexual attraction through a musical number by an in-universe Netflix show. This show is definitely not afraid to talk about and show everything. Big Mouth, specifically this season, would have been great for me to have watched in middle school. There's an episode titled Rankings, and it's by far the most relatable episode I have ever seen in a show that's all about relatability. There's even an episode about Florida in here, and it's just hilarious. Yes, there is a lot of crude and gross out humor, but at its core, this is a show that relates to anyone and anything they might have gone through. And even though I do appreciate Big Mouth trying to be as far reaching as possible, that's kind of the problem with this season. It tries to do too much with too little time. There are huge moments that happen that are quickly brushed off, but then brought up again two episodes later. It's a bit inconsistent, so the overarching story seems to be lacking a true vision. There are also a few characters that needed more time to develop, but instead were pushed to the background. AKA Gina, voiced by Gina Rodriguez. She had such a great presence in season 2 and had such high potential to be a bigger character this season, but she shows up halfway through and barely even shows up after that. They did show Jay Moore, voiced by Jason Mansukis, and Duke Ellington, voiced by Jordan Peele, but that kind of took away from other characters that should have shined more. I still do think that this is a great exploration and topics that need to be discussed more often. I give Big Mouth Season 3 an 8.8 .8 out of 10. This show has something for everybody, but it's not quite made for everyone. If you have already seen this show or plan to, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. We'll you later.